Brett Hoiberg already on the hot seat in Chicago. What's going on, y'all? Five Sports Top back at it with another video talking some NBA, talking Fred Hoiberg, who, after the Bulls have gotten off to a underwhelming start in which they're below 500 and currently out of the playoff picture, has Fred Hoiberg's name and a lot of reports and rumors coming out about him, you know, on the hot seat apparently. And I'm here to discuss if it is in fact time for the Bulls to move on from Fred Hoiberg. So sort of a small disclaimer here, um, I follow this team very closely, I'm from Chicago, I'm a big Bulls fan, so when the Bulls initially hired Fred Hoiberg, I had very varying feelings about it, I wasn't a strong advocate of it because I knew at that time the roster that we had was not a fit for Fred Hoiberg and how he coached at Iowa. And I was very skeptical of the selection of Fred Hoiberg. Now, everybody knows that Tom Thibodeau wasn't fired based off of coaching performance. He was fired based off the fact that him and the front office, I'm talking about Gar Paxson and John, uh, excuse me, Gar Foreman and John Paxson, couldn't get along with Tom Thibodeau. And so that's why I thought Tom Thibodeau was let go and Fred Hoiberg was brought in as one of their favorite candidates. They were looking at him for a while. But I was always skeptical. And here we go again with the Bulls trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. Fred Hoiberg and his coaching style don't match up with the current roster that he has. So I just want to know one thing. How does Fred Hoiberg, who inherited Tom Thibodeau's roster, and now he's got an older roster with uh, aging veterans, uh, no, namely with Dwayne Wade, how he doesn't even get to have his own team that he has constructed along with the help of the coaching staff and, and the front office, but yet he's on the hot seat. So again, like I mentioned, this is not the roster that Fred Hoiberg excels in as a coach. His strengths are are not with the current roster. Dwayne Wade, Jimmy Butler, I mean, Jimmy Butler, he's the building piece. He's the building block. But Rondo, these veterans, Robin Lopez, guys like this, they are not young and athletic anymore. Um, so they currently don't fit. Fred Hoiberg runs a space and pace offense in which you need a lot of shooters, in which you need uh, athletes, in which you need young guys. And clearly, the Bulls roster isn't a good fit for that. So for me, the thing is coaches always get canned and coaches always get blamed for something because they're the easiest to fire. And that's really what the issue is here with Fred Hoiberg. If he does get fired, if he does get canned, it'll just be because he's the only one that they can fire. But really, they should be looking to fire Gar Foreman and John Paxson because they didn't do the right job of constructing the roster that complements Fred Hoiberg. So you got to give the coach something to work with. And really, this is a perfect mismatch and a complete opposite of what Fred Hoiberg needs. So for me, here's the thing. You can get rid of Fred Hoiberg. That's fine. But you better get rid of Gar Foreman and John Paxson as well. Clean the whole house, get rid of everybody, and start anew. And that's the main thing the Bulls need to figure out is what are they going to be? Are they going to be an older roster like they are currently? Because Dwayne Wade is signed for another year. Um, are they going to go forward with this roster and sort of just add more veteran pieces and sort of try and, you know, uh, mesh a group of older guys and see if you can, you know, uh, catch lightning in a bottle and maybe make it one solid run? Or are you going to rebuild, go younger and more athletic? Because those are two very different routes. And depending on which one you pick, that will be your decision for Fred Hoiberg. But regardless of what I said, you need to get rid of the entire management if you are firing Fred Hoiberg. He should not be the only one getting blame for the Bulls this season. Finally, the last thing to think about is if you do fire Fred Hoiberg, be careful what you wish for. There's not a lot of candidates out there. I can't think of many. Are you going to get Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, um, you know, guys like George Carl who's been, you know, spewing a uh, uh, hate through his book for former players and execs. So there's really not that many good coaching candidates out there. So Bulls better be careful what they wish for. But with that being said, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Is it time for the Bulls to fire Fred Hoiberg or not? Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.